it's Victoria and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see today we're doing a 150 push-up challenge because it seems like you guys really like my push-up challenges. I mean my other videos have like sub 40 views while my push-up challenges are the only ones that have hit 100 views. Um, those numbers are kind of sad for a YouTube channel but considering I only have 26 subscribers it's totally fine. Totally fine. So, as I mentioned, today is a 150 push-up challenge, and the push-ups that we'll be doing are the regular push-up, chest push-up, Spider-Man push-up, eccentric push-up, or eccentric push-up, that's the word, eccentric push-up, um, hand release push-up, tricep push-up, diamond push-up, pike push-up, yoga push-up, side push-up on both sides, pulse push-up, oil rigger on both sides, and finally we'll be ending with the dolphin push-up. So, I will be demonstrating each push-up before we do 10 reps of them. So, um, and today I'm going to be a little mean. So, the demonstration rep will not count as part of the 10 push-ups of the, the 10 reps of that push-up that we'll have to do. So, we'll actually be doing around, very fast math, 150 plus 50, 165 push-ups in total. Alright? So, as always, if you need to drop to your knees, which I will probably end up doing because I'm not super, super strong, or... I'm not super super strong enough to do 150 push-ups all on my toes. That's totally fine because we'll be doing it together. All right. So remember to warm up. And other than that, let's get started. All right, guys. We're gonna get started with the regular push-up. So, um, get in your plank position. Keep your core tight, and just drop down into a push-up. Right. So don't lock your shoulders out like this. Just keep. Them all right. So. Okay, let's, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Woo. Let's take a little break. It out a little bit. Get ready for those 165 push ups. Alright, the next push up is going to be the chest push up. So basically, it's going to retain the same characteristics of the regular push up, except our, our, our hands will be a little bit wider than children's foot apart. So you'll work your necks a bit more. Alright, so the demonstration rep will be push your hands out to the side a bit more. Just down, push up, okay? So that was one, and now we have ten. Let's go. Keep your core sucked in, and push up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Woo! I'm feeling it already. Oh, my strength is a little diminished right now because I'm just coming off of a cold slash sore throat slash massive coughing slash uh, headache from all that coughing. So, so I haven't really exercised. So my strength is diminished, but. It's all right, because what better way to work up your strength than to do a 150 push-up challenge? So that was 20 push-ups, and next up we have the spider. Push oh, it's a spider. So you're gonna do a regular push-up, but when you're pushing up, you're gonna bring your uh, one of your knees to your outside elbow. So you need strength. Ooh, okay, and then you do it on the other side. So. I'm going to be nice and say that bringing your knee in once will count as one rep. So we'll do 10 reps, which means that we'll bring, which means there's like five on the right leg right in. Okay, so let's get started. One, two, three, four. Make sure your knee comes with the knee to elbow, which I know, it's really hard and I haven't exactly been doing it, but you should be doing it. Alright, six, two, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, okay, 
So that was 30. Next is the eccentric push up. I think I pronounced this eccentric push up, but whatever. Eccentric, eccentric push up. Basically, it's going to be a regular push up, but um, they're going to go, up, go really slow on the way down. So we're going to do three counts on the way down. And then we'll push up. So, it's demonstration. One, two, three, and push it back up. Okay? So that's one rep. And now we have ten to go. Right, let's get started. Squeeze your heart. Let's go. One, two, three. Two, two, three. Three, two, three. Four, two, three. Five, two, three. Six, two, three. Seven, two, three. Eight, two, three. Nine, two, three. One more. Ten, two, three. Eight. So that was kind of a cop but what can you do? Okay, so that was 40. Next we have the hand release push-up. So I'm gonna catch my breath. Okay, so in the push-up, when you get down to the ground, you're gonna rest, come all the way down to the ground, like this. So come all the way down to the ground, lift your hand up, bring it, lift your hands up, put it down, and then push through to the ground to lift yourself back, okay? So you notice that by lifting it, your hands up, you're engaging your back a bit, which is very good because lower back is also part of the core. Okay, so without further ado, further ado, let's get started. Okay. One. Two. Three. Four. Oh. Five. Six. Seven. All right, I don't have to go on my knees. You guys don't hate me. Eight. Nine. And when you're on your knees, remember to don't push your butt up, keep your core engaged, just keep it down. And 10. Oh, okay. So that was the fifth round. Next up, we have tricep push-ups, okay? So this is like a normal push-up, but instead of keeping your like hands like this and you like that, no, you're keeping everything in close to your sides. This one sucks, but it especially sucks when we're super tired. Okay, so, and so here's a demonstration of push up. Your, your hands are coming in close to your sides, then you push up. Okay, so, let's take a little bit more of a break, and other than that, let's get started. 10 push ups, 10 tricep push ups, that is. Okay. One. Two, three, I'm gonna drop to my knees. Okay, remember to keep your core tucked in. Four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Whew. That was only sixty fun ups. I have ninety more to go. Okay. So, next up are the diamond push -ups. So your hands are going to go into this diamond shape, and that's how they're going to stay the whole time. 
Um, so here's the demonstration rep. No idea if I have the strength to do this on my knees or not, but we'll see. So, put my hands in the diamond shape position. Keep them like this. Put your feet out into the push-up position. Let's go. Oh! All right. Well, that was a fail. All right. So go ahead. I'm gonna do this on my knees. Keep your hands like this. Push down and lift back up. Okay. If you're on your toes, it's the same idea. Except you're, you're just like this. All right. So let's do ten reps. And let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Oh. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Oh. Okay, so that was <laughs> 70 push-ups. Okay, next up is a fun push-up. And I say it's fun because it's much easier than the other ones. Okay, so this one's the pike push-up, which means that you are in a downward dog position. And in from this downward dog, you're just gonna press out and hold and lift back up, okay? So this is very good for your shoulders. So, let's take up a little bit of breath. It's in this spot because I know that I was gonna get tired. That's why it's in this spot. All right, so lift up into your downward dog position and let's do, let's do 10, let's go. One. And that was our 80th push-up. Okay, so next up are the yoga push-ups. So these are fun. Okay, so we're basically, we're going to do a vinyasa. So in plank position, do a tricep push-up, come all the way down to the ground, and then roll up into a cobra, and then push up into a downward dog, okay? So that's what I have appropriately named the yoga push-up because it's from yoga. And there's not much, of, there's not really more of a story here. Just, find, just finding a way to stall. So. One. Two. And also feel free to take this slow because this one's in here as sort of like a, a rest push-up in some sense, but it's still really going to attack the arms and the core and the whole body. It's gonna hurt. But it's also yeah, kind of a easy precursor to some of the other stuff. Okay, so that's five. Oh. Six. Whew. Seven. Eight. Oh, nine. And last one. Okay guys, we just hit 100 push-ups. Oh, that was a lie. We hit 90 push-ups. Okay, um, next up is the side push-up on the right side. So, this one's really gonna attack like the center line of your chest. Um, so, lay on your side. Um, I'm uh, laying on my left side first, so I'm gonna do the right arm first. You can also switch around. So, keeping your left arm wrapped around your side and your right arm in front. 
uh, put it in front of your shoulder and you're just gonna lift up and make it down. So this is also really good for your triceps and as I mentioned before, like the center line in your chest, okay? So, 10 reps, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, as you can see I'm really struggling, eight, down for this time, lay down to the right side, keep your right arm wrapped around your body, and your left arm out in front, and push up, okay? So we've got 10 reps, let's go. One, two, three, four, It's essentially a regular push up, but when we're down at the bottom, we're going to do this. Alright, so here's a demonstration. We're gonna push three times. One, two, three, push up. Oh, wasn't so bad. Alright, so let's do 10. Uh, try, I'm gonna do it up the nose first. Okay. Without further ado, let's go. One, two, three. Now, 
going to repeat that, but on the left side. So, so get in the this plank position. Lift your lift your left leg up, and that's what we're going to do. Okay, so ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Our last push up will be a dolphin push up, and technically, this doesn't really actually have a push up motion in it, but it doesn't matter. This is a yoga pose. So, we're going to get in a plank, and then push your butt up, and then bring it forward. Okay, so that was one, we got 10 more, and then we'll be done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. <sighs> All right, guys. So that was our 150 push-up challenge, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, make sure to check out my other push-up challenges. I've got the 100 and the 200 one up, and now, as of now, I have the 150 push-up challenge up too. And maybe in the future there will be a 300 or a 250 or. I'm too lazy to do that. I'll do something eccentric like 224 push-up challenge, but that's for the future. So make sure you guys like and subscribe because I have a whopping total of 26 subscribers right now, and I would really like to get 30 subscribers. Hey, if I get to 30 subscribers, I will do the 300 push-up challenge, okay? So use that as an incentive to subscribe to one of the best fitness channels ever, JK. Anyway, other than that, hope you guys enjoyed. Okay, bye!